Welcome into another episode of The Blitz. I'm Billy Byler. Wayne Stats is with me. We're from the Augusta Chronicle, and we are at Silver Bluff High School this week. And in a little while, we'll talk about their big game coming up this Friday night. But, Wayne, looking back at this past week's games, uh, you know, we had a team that was at the top, Thompson. They're even more at the top now. I, I guess that's the way to say it. That was a big win over an Atlanta private school that, you know, a lot of times those teams come in this area and pick off the big teams. What do you think about, what does that say about Thompson? Yeah, I mean, any doubts you had, I think, are pretty much gone at this point. Uh, if to doubt them is kind of silly considering the wins that they've had <laughs> to start the season. Uh, and it wasn't just a fluke thing. You know, that was a big thing. It, yeah, they beat Burke County, but can they do it again? Clearly they can. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they could be one of the top two, three teams in Class 3A right now. There are a lot of teams out there with that, you know, one or two loss level. you got North Augusta, Strom Thurmond, Burke County, Lincoln County. Where do those teams fall? Well, Lincoln County, especially with the public-private split, is still a very legitimate contender for state. And then also Burke County, big win uh, this Friday against uh, Coffey with uh, Don Cole Green doing what he does, scoring five touchdowns. So I think those teams are still pretty much in the hunt. Right now let's look ahead to this week's games. There's some some pretty interesting, intriguing matchups going on. Uh, you got to look at uh, Washington County, what they're facing this week. Yeah, pretty big one uh, this week. Uh, it's a home game against Laney. And Laney. Yeah, it's first time I think nine years since they've played. So that'll be a pretty big game, probably a big gate in that one. Waco and looks pretty much like a title contender. And Laney, I mean, getting back on track last week with Glen Hills. And then you've got Aquinas. Uh, a lot of times they play those smaller schools from out of town. They're playing in Richmond County. They're playing a Richmond County team. What do you think about that one? Yeah, I mean, pretty cool to see them against Josie. Uh, a lot of good athletes on Josie, but, you know, it's definitely a tough matchup. You know, physical team. <laughs> they have yeah. an Aquinas, Brendan Douglas, leading the, leading the blocks there when he doesn't have the ball. And elsewhere, you know, they're a big school that's doing well at Lakeside and Westside. Westside 3 0. Nice start to the end of the season, but definitely a big test with Lakeside. If you want to see some really good, high quality football, Burke County State Scroll, mm -hmm. that's a heck of a matchup. Yeah. It really is. Statesboro came in, beat up the Lakeside earlier in the year, undefeated, one of the top teams in the state, and Burke County looks like they're still up there as well. All right, we're here with head coach Al Lown, coach of the Silver Bluff Bulldogs. And coach, you guys have started off the season undefeated heading into this week. Uh, what do you think? I mean, you've got that wing tee, and you guys are running it pretty good this year, right? Yeah, we, we're pretty pleased. I, you know, I said all summer, our kids work really hard. I was expecting some good things out of our team this year. So far, those things have happened. Going back to the wing tee was a big plus for us. We had 19 first downs last week, 27 the week before. So uh, it's worked out pretty good for us so far. You've got a rivalry game coming up. It's Strom Thurmond now, and you guys have been going head-to-head -head for a long time. And it's the series is fairly even, and I know they got the best of you last year. What's the motivation? What's the energy around here going into this? Uh, pretty big. You know, we, 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 we got we handed it to us pretty good last year. But, you know, uh, Strom Thurmond's got a great football team. There's no doubt about it. Coach Sawyer's built a great program over there right now. And I, I told somebody today, they're a really good 3A team, and we're a pretty good 2A team. We've got a good quality football and a rivalry here at Silver Bluff this week. They're playing Strom Thurmond. Uh, in past years, it's been uh, upper state 2A versus lower state 2A. Strom Thurmond is actually up in 3A this year, but the rivalry is still here. It's still a non-region game. Uh, Silver Bluff, 
is the undefeated team. Strom Thurmond had the loss uh, first of the uh, game of the season against uh, that traveling team, private school team out of Maryland. So a uh, record-wise, Silver Bluff has the edge, but uh, Strom Thurmond got him last year. What do you think about this matchup, two quality South Carolina teams? Yeah, it's much to see that kind of the two different offenses here. I mean, they both good, great at what they do. Strom Thurmond scores a lot of points. Silver Bluff can, but they're great at just, you know, really just destroying your will <laughs> if you're a defense. Yeah. So let's see how that kind of goes, matches well together. I, I think the key for this one, Silver Bluff loves that wing tee offense, which long, sustained yeah. drives. Uh, Strom Thurmond has a more balanced attack. They can run the ball. They can also throw the ball. I think uh, if Silver Bluff gets down, they may have a hard time trying to come back if they have to throw right. the ball. I'd give the edge to Strom Thurmond. I've seen both teams play this year. But, like we said, it's a rivalry. Who knows what's going to happen? We're watching the...